Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I use Hush Pro to clean up dialogue for documentary mixes. I'll be focusing on the Hush Mix component of Hush Pro in this video. Hush Pro is based on an advanced machine learning algorithm, and it uses this to reduce both reverb and noise in dialogue recordings. The other plugin which comes with Hush Pro is Hush Split. This runs the same algorithm and allows you to render the dialogue, noise and reverb components to their own separate tracks if you want to balance them against each other using faders and automation. Both of these are Pro Tools Audio Suite plugins for Apple Silicon Macs. So let's go with Hush Mix and take a listen to some noisy dialogue. Here we have a session for a documentary mix which is in progress and I've put some markers in just to highlight some sections of problematic dialogue. First one they're more likely to be like, you know, and, and everyone does it, judgmental, you know. You hear somebody does a certain thing in an industry or whatever, you just automatically come to some sort of, you know, they can only be that, this way. Okay, so there's a couple of types of noise in there. There seems to be some people in the distant background and then just some continuous high-pitched noise going on. So let's preview this and see what we can do. They're more likely to be like, you know, and, and everyone does it, judgmental. They're more likely to be like, you know, and, and everyone does it, judgmental. Now, realistically with this kind of thing, I'm not trying to completely wipe out the noise, although you could, I'll show you that in a second. I'm trying to just get a better balance so the dialogue is more intelligible. Now I can show you how it would sound if I clicked on the mute button on the noise component. They're more likely to be like, you know, and, and everyone does it. It's good. Uh, but we don't want to go that far, so this is probably pretty good. And usually what I do is I'll create a duplicate playlist. I've already done that on here. So rather than working on the original playlist, I've got a method of actually clicking, going back to the unprocessed audio, should I need to. And I always make sure that I choose create individual files. I don't want to render it into one continuous block because I might want to extend stuff or do crossfades afterwards. So once we've established those settings, it's literally just a case of clicking render, hush mix, does its thing, and then we've got a great result. They're more likely to be like, you know, and, and everyone does it, judgmental. You know, you hear somebody does a certain thing in an industry or whatever, you just automatically come to some sort of... Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next one. Dan, here we go. It's an annual sort of tradition in January in Las Vegas that everyone looks forward to and anticipates. So there's two problems with this. You've got the continuous noise, but you've also got a, a reverb. It's not very well recorded. So common to receive things like this, which have been, should we say, suboptimally <laughs> recorded. So with this, let's see what we can do. I'll just reset this and we'll start from scratch, work out what the best settings might be for this. It's an annual sort of tradition in January. It's an annual sort of tradition in January. Incidentally, if you want to solo one of the components, you can also do that. So, for example, the reverb. It's an annual sort of tradition in January. It's an annual sort of tradition. Okay. It's an annual sort of tradition in January. I want to bring it down a bit it's like that. Sort of Quite a bit. And the noise. It's an annual sort of tradition in January. It's an annual sort of tradition in That sounds about right to me. So, once again, click on render, and then we'll take a listen to the results. It's an annual sort of tradition in January in Las Vegas that everyone looks forward to and anticipates. And because we did render them as individual files, if I wasn't happy with that crossfade, I could modify it. Next person, Danny. Now you can see from the memory locations, Danny appears more than once. So what we're actually going to do is establish the settings for him on the first one, this section, then save a preset, recall it on the next time he appears, because he does appear in the same location. So here's the first one. Yeah, I've been shooting here in the United States now, um, based out of uh, Los Angeles since 2007. Okay, so there's not really a problem with reverb as such, but it's, it's just noise. It's not terrible, but it could do with some reduction. Yeah, I've been shooting here in the United States now, um, based out of uh, Los Angeles since 2007. And you can always do a quick AB of any of these components using the bypass button like this. So you could bypass it and then unbypass it partway through. Yeah, I've been shooting here in the United States now, um, based out of... Uh, wow, well, that's quite a considerable improvement. And you know, Hush Pro creates really minimal artifacts, so you can really get very effective noise reduction with little detriment. Here's the finished result. Yeah, I've been shooting here in the United States now, um, based out of uh, Los Angeles since 2007. Okay, and because he's going to appear again, let's go to the presets here, save settings as, I'm just going to save this as Danny. We'll recall that when he appears the second time. Next one, Alexis. I was going to school at Texas State University. 
I was bartending at a bar um, in the square. Okay, so reverb. Quite a lot of reverb, a little bit of noise. Let's deal with the reverb uh, first. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square. I was going to school at Texas State University. Okay, and before I render this, here's a reminder of how it sounds in its original form. I was going to school at Texas State University. Okay, and then click render. It's pretty quick. Of course, it's dependent upon exactly which Apple Silicon mic you've got, but it's done, so let's take a listen. I was going to school at Texas State University. I was bartending at a bar um, in the square. Great. And next one, Danny appears a second time. Here it is. No, it's, it's obviously not for everybody, but yeah, there's definitely... Um... So now I can just go into the presets. If you ever see this, incidentally, in any Pro Tools plugin, where you have a preset name, but it's in italics, that means that you've recalled the preset and then subsequently made some changes without saving them into the preset. So I want to actually click on this again. When it's non-italicized text like that, it's the preset in its clean original form. So now we just click render. Take a listen. No, it's, it's obviously not for everybody, but yeah, there's definitely um, some jealousy there from, uh, from the big wigs. Great. So as you can see, it's a really quick and efficient process using Hush Mix to clean up dialogue in a documentary. You can also actually increase the dialogue level. So if you've got something which is particularly quiet, not only can you reduce the noise and reverb, but you can also push the voice level a little bit just to get a better overall end result. For more information on Hush Pro, you can check out my articles on the Production Expert blog or visit hushaudioapp.com. Thanks for watching.